What's up, gamers? Today I'm going to show you the best farming route for uh, wolf spiders. So when you get to the stump lab, you unlock the ability to craft renewable whetstones. And you're going to need a lot of wolf spider fangs. And I'm going to show you more or less the route that I take and where I go. And let's get to it. So since I live at the 2 by 4 I automatically start with this guy down here. Um... Let's see if he's even home. He might not even be here. Oh, he is. Imagine. All right. So I'm just going to get rid of him real quick. Easy peasy. All right. So there's number one. Okay. Now there's actually three other ones that are right here. Typically. Like I said, I'm not sure when's the last time I killed all these guys, but I'll show you kind of the route I go to get them all. Let's see here. What do I... Oh. Trying to see what status effects I have on right now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so our number two guy is going to be right in here, which he is not. Okay, so I must have already got a hold of him. Our number three wolf spider... Is going to be right in here. Okay, there's our number three. And from here, we're going to run right back to the porch. Let's see if this guy's here. He's right to the right of the ones with the mushrooms. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Don't let them get the best of you. Okay, so there. Ooh, I still haven't gotten this molar yet. Wow, how many times have I been over here? So many times I've been over here and haven't gotten this molar. Um, and I don't have any food. It's unfortunate. Uh, we'll be fine. Sure. Yeah, we'll be fine. I trust my. I trust my skills. Uh. <laughs> Psych. This will be when I die. Usually when I talk about it, it's when I die. So we're going to run around, run right past the paint can here. Um, and we are going to, uh, we're going to run right to the rake rock and we're going to walk up the rake rock just a little bit so we can jump over this canyon. I'm actually going to take you with me so I can have you at my pit stop. Cause I do have a pit stop up here that I'm probably going to need to use. Um, and here we go. And get you and you did all right so yeah from the rake rock right here there's going to be one hanging out right here oh i actually thought he died there that's my bad oh well i did all right we made it back to our body here so uh more or less what i like to do from here is i'm gonna run straight to the rocks uh, because over here on the rocks, we're going to have one. We're actually going to have two wolf spiders over here. And I'm going to make it to my little campground real quick. Nice. Perfect. All right. Set and spawn and sleeping. All right. So this one should be right around about right here. It looks like he's not. He's out wandering right now. Might have killed him already or something. I'm not sure. But he sits right there on the floor. And then we're going to swing around, try and avoid these mosquitoes. Going this way. And uh, there is another one up here underneath this rock. There go. Leave me alone. All right. So the third, this one is going to be underneath here. And it looks like he's dead already. Maybe I've been, maybe I've been through here and killed these guys already. Uh, and then we're going to wrap around and go up to the upper yard to the charcoal pit. And once we get up here, there's going to be two inside of the lid of the charcoal, the charcoal grill here. I'll try and take them out one at a time. I need to repair my helmet real fast. If you're playing well mode, big tip is never forget repair glue. You can't live without it.
Okay, so there's one, and then we've got our other guy, which is supposed to be in here. Maybe he's out wandering around or something. I don't see him anywhere. Interesting. But yeah, there's supposed to be two in there. Most people, most people have seen them, you know, hanging out inside the grill. But that's going to be two more there. And then what I typically do from here is I will just follow. So there's going to be, there's going to be a infected wolf spider here. And there's going to be a, another one up here in the corner of the porch. I don't typically worry about them too much because they're kind of out of the way. But what I will do is I will uh, follow this stone, you know, pathway or whatever. Uh, all the way over to that area and there's going to be a infected and a not infected <clears throat> and then we'll cut over to the tree and kill the infected and not infected as well so uh, in the tree there's going to be two wolf spiders if you haven't opened the haze if you have there's going to be an infected and a not infected um, I feel like the infected are still a little bit broken I don't really understand like how you're supposed to fight them because they attack like 900% attack speed faster than a freaking uh, Black Widow. Sorry guys, I'm umming a lot. Hopefully that's not bugging too many people. But yeah, I don't know. I, I still feel like the infected wolf spider still needs like a minor fix or something to their attack and their jump is ridiculous. Every time I fight one, he jumps all like up to the top of the oak tree over there and then falls to his death. All right, so I'm gonna cut to me being here, finally, because this run takes forever. All right, so here we go. I've arrived at my little lean-to here, and we're gonna go probably die from a wolf spider, we'll see, or an infected one, but uh, the plan is to kill these two over here and head to the oak tree. Let's see how it goes. Do, 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 do. Might be best to get up on top of these uh, purpley, purple things, purple tree things. If we can. All right, I don't need you ladybird larva right now. I don't need you right now. All right, there they both are. We got the non-infected and the infected, and this is a pretty decent spot to get to uh, to somewhat protect yourself a little bit. Maybe not so much from the infected one since he jumps, but from the... Oh, God. That's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. What in the world is he even doing here? Okay. Okay. Apparently he does not like whatever's going on. All right, well, there's one dead. Now we just gotta worry about the pain in the butt guy. I actually don't know if I've even killed one of these legitimately on this uh, woe playthrough yet. Um. Oh, I can get up here, nice. Got to get him to come over here. No matter where I go, he's going to jump on me, so. Man, my, my screen is getting a little grainy on me here. What the heck? Let's see if he decides to jump. Okay, he did jump. And he's going to kill me now his attacks are super OP. Never mind, he's dead. All right, so there we go. So now we have a total of 12 spider fangs just from that little run. And, uh, you know, I'll just assume that you guys know about the two at the oak tree. Uh, and that's pretty much how I wrap my run up. And then I wait about two or three days. They respawn every two, every two or three days. I think it's a little bit more on the three day mark, but, uh, yeah, that's the route, man. Running all the way around the yard, gathering up spider fangs. 
So that'll so that'll be you know twelve sturdy stone sturdy whetstones right there, which honestly isn't a whole lot, uh, considering how much it takes to level up everything. And you know, I I, I wish there would be more available you know, crafting materials and level up upgrade materials so you could potentially get all of your <clears throat> all of your weapons and armor and max that well armor's not really that big of an issue. You know, the game gives you lots of marble stuff. But uh I would say that there's probably not enough quartzite to you know, you would have to play the game for hours, 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 hours after you've actually found all the actual quartzite that's laying on the ground. You know, you'd still have to play for so long just to uh, just to get enough wolf things. Oh, that's going to kill me. Oh, my Lord. Oops. Oh, don't eat this. I need it. I need to eat it. Oh, it doesn't give me health. rip -a -roni. All right. Now I just got to try and make it back home without dying. But uh, if you guys like this video, man, if it helps you out at all, if you didn't know about, you know, having to go to the stump lab to, to unlock the... Uh, the ability to actually craft stones. It does take sap and wolf fangs, uh, in case I didn't mention that. But make sure you hit the like for me, please. And uh, subscribe and join us over on Twitch every night from 8 to 11 o'clock. Uh, link will be in the description. And let me know in the comments uh, if there's a future update, what kind of bugs you'd like to have in the backyard. We had some stuff on, on stream last night about dragonflies and wasps. Oh man, and tarantulas. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what I'd like to see in the game. I think the game's in a really good spot. I just think it needs a few polishing things, but you know, I would like to see progression to more more stuff unlocked and more bugs and more armor and more weapons and all of the above. But either way, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Like, subscribe, blah blah blah. You know the drill. I really appreciate your guys' support, man. And uh welcome to the welcome to the family. I appreciate it big time. We'll see you on the next one. Pieces.